hey, uh, I'm going to be doing some book reviews. These are on a few that I've, uh, some of my favorite books that I've gone over in the past year or so. And um, I've just been meaning to do this for a while. And I wanted to be all perfect, but it doesn't need to be because um, I just really want to try to have uh, some conversations with people that are interested in some of the same things. So these are a few of them. It's, um, I'm just going to be doing short little reviews over the next few days. And um, I've mostly just done the audio versions. Um, and the reason this is really important to me is because I've gone through a lot in the last couple of years with like a death of a close friend who was a business partner that caused a uh, career change, which was at the same time as finishing my divorce and my rebound relationship breakup, kind of like all spitting out at once where, you know, normally you can handle one or two of those things, but if there's like three or more, then it's like, gig, 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 you know, it's like down the deep end, a person usually goes, but I made books and audio books my uh, down the deep end, and it was <laughs> sort of a unique experience, I think. And um, mainly all I did the past year, other than, you know, some normal work and living, is um, just go through books and audiobooks. Um, mostly Carl Jung and uh, Jordan Peterson, but then also these couple, as well as um, Sapiens is another main one that I recommend. And um, I think it's not talked about enough how we have such audiobooks at our disposal now that you can do sort of like a meditative state with it. And it's not like I'm trying to push this new spiritual idea, but I think it's something that people need to do as much as they can, which is just get into good audiobooks whenever you can. And it will enable you to. Um, just kind of change the way that you're thinking because um, after a while you just you're listening 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 and it kind of it's, you know, it's almost like a no mind sort of position after a while at least it, it was for me and it, it kind of helped me rewire the, my brain and you know I was having this idea to just today about almost like an original sin idea um, I know not really but it's it's like like how um, Jordan Peterson will often talk about uh, Solzhenitsyn. No, I'm not saying that right, but also uh, Viktor Frankl when they went through their um, concentration camp situations, which are you know some of the worst, most unimaginable situations a person can go through as far as pain and suffering. They looked internally to find things that they could do, things that they are responsible for, which is kind of like a mind-blowing idea because normally we do it the other way around. We're suffering, we want to you know, blame the world and everything else, anything but ourselves. But that really changed the world, especially you know, in, in those books that they wrote, um, The Gulag Archipelago and Man's Search for Meaning. And um, for me, that's... A lot of what I did too this past year is just look back at anything in my life where I might have had a fault in it, but maybe it was unconscious. That's why I said it's almost like an original sin concept. Not necessarily that I want, we're born sinful because of Adam and Eve or whatever, who knows. But it's like a lot of what we do we are at fault for, but it's unconsciously and, also, and sometimes we consciously make it unconscious. And that's why um, Carl Jung and some of the others that I'll talk about later on um, are really important because I think what's really important, and this is why it's so good to just get into as much uh, reading as you can and, and books and audiobooks, because it helps you to not just sort of change your thinking, but really. Um, bring to light and awareness things that never otherwise would have been. 
Um, some of the other ones too that, that uh, I'll, I want to talk about is, um, is history too. Uh, Will Durant's History of Civilization is very important. And of course, uh, Sapiens. Um, mostly because they can tell those stories in a more narrative way, which is really important. Anyway, I'm going to do um, a few of these videos the next few, uh, couple days, and then um, I want to do a bunch of them, but just really simple like this. Maybe one day I'll get fancier. But um, all right, thanks a lot.